Let's learn about computer storage devices. There are a lot of different storage devices that are used to keep data inside a computer, keep information inside a computer. It could be songs or videos or pictures or documents, any data that needs to be stored inside a computer. So let's look at the different devices that are used to store data. There's lots of different storage devices. One of them is the hard drive. Every computer, or pretty much all computers, have hard drives right inside of them. This is also known as secondary storage, or sometimes external memory or auxiliary storage. So this storage can keep information stored even when a computer or device is turned off. Removable storage is the kind that you can take out of your computer. So that would be like a memory card or a small hard disk drive. And then other storage stays inside a computer. There are three different ways information is stored, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. The first storage device that was used was called the floppy disk. So here's some different forms of floppy disk. They could store a very small amount of data. This one is 8 inches. This is 5 and a quarter inches from one side to another, and this one is three and a half inches. Surprisingly, the, small, the largest ones stored the least data, the smallest amount of data. The middle ones stored a little more information, and the smallest one actually stored the most information. Here are the drives that would go inside the computer. You can see that with the eight inch drive, that would, that would go into a computer that would take up almost the whole computer. Then there was the five and a quarter, inch that usually sat right next to a computer and then finally the three and a half inch floppy drive would sit next to a computer or inside a computer. The the most that these could store this one could store two gigabytes that was not two gigabytes two megabytes that was the most it could store that's about enough for one really high resolution picture maybe one song um, some documents as long as they didn't have a lot of pictures. Since floppy disks couldn't store much information, um, hard disks became very popular because a hard disk could go right inside a computer and then the hard disk would store information right inside a computer. It's still a disk. This time it's made of metal. It still stores information on little magnetic charges put on there by strong electromagnets. Sometimes there would be multiple disks, and the hard drive would be installed inside the computer. That's where almost all information would be stored inside a computer. The disadvantage, of course, is you can't take it with you. The next storage device that was developed and became popular in computers was the compact disk, or the CD. Here's the official symbol for compact disk. The way a compact disk works is the information is stored on there by putting either little bumps or little light and dark spots on there by burning the spots with a laser. So once all the data was on there, and these could store up to 700 megabytes, not just two megabytes like the floppy disks, but 700 megabytes. That was a huge amount of data. That could store, of course, as much for, as an entire album of music. It could store a movie if it was compressed and recorded correctly. It could store lots and lots of documents and computer programs. So these became very popular. There became drives that you could put in the computer, and those drives would allow you to um, write and s record information and even erase it sometimes and re-record. Inside of the CD drive, there's a laser. The laser light shines on the disk, and then the light comes back to a light sensor. If the light sensor has a strong reading, then that's one kind of data. If the light sensor has a weak or dim reading, then that's the other kind of data. By the disk spinning, the light gets brighter and dimmer, and that's how the information is stored on the CD. The next device is called the USB flash drive. A flash drive usually looks something like this. 
and there are even flash drives like this one that will accept a memory card. These are both kinds of flash memory. Flash memory is memory that is stored by using static electricity. So static electricity is put on a tiny, tiny little spot inside of a memory card and that static electricity will stay there until an electric current is run through that tiny little circuit. These devices became popular because as long as you had a USB port on your computer you could put data onto these drives and then take it off of these drives and you could take this wherever you wanted to go. So you could go from your house to your school to your work and you could bring that with you everywhere. You could put pictures on there, documents. They started to have they started originally with small memory capacities so probably less than 100 megabytes but they were developed and better and smaller circuits were made until they could store 16,000 megabytes or 16 gigabytes or even a whole lot more. DVDs were also developed about that time. Uh, DVD, here's the symbol for a DVD. You're probably familiar with, familiar with these from movies. Um, the storage is the same as a CD except for the data is stored even closer. The little tiny dots on there are much, much closer and the spiral that starts from the center and goes all the way out to the end, that spiral is much, much tighter. So these can store up to 5,000 gigabytes. Not 5,000 gigabytes, 5,000 megabytes, which would be about 5 gigabytes. So that's quite a bit of storage. Um, these became popular in home computers. People would store information on them. Um, they would store movies on them, store music and pictures on them. But they, of course, were susceptible to one major flaw of the optical discs was if they get scratches, then they would not play. So, and they could also be easily broken um, or melted in a car window if it was a hot summer day. So there were some various issues that made these less desirable than the um, flash drives. But again, the flash drives at first couldn't store as much information as a CD. And even once they were able to s store as much as a CD, they couldn't store as much as a DVD. Finally, we come to the memory card. There's all sorts of different size is a memory card. This side is called the compact flash. This side is called the SD or secure digital card. And this is the micro SD. Inside of each of these cards there is a memory chip. And that memory chip holds the information. So here are a few examples. A compact flash that's used in cameras often. A memory stick those were made by St Sony, also used in cameras. Smart media, multimedia card, and the XD picture card. So there's all sorts of different memory cards. The secure digital card is the one that's most common, and the mini SD card is also very common. So those are the six different kinds of common storage devices. First, it was floppy disks. That was the only way to store information. Then it was the hard drive inside the computer along with the floppy disk. Then the CD came along and that was added to the hard drive and the floppy disk. Then the USB flash drives, then the DVD drives replaced the compact drives, the compact disk drives, and finally the memory cards. And then at that point the, um, the floppy disks had, were no longer installed in computers because people weren't using them anymore. And nowadays even the CD and DVD drives are not being found in computers as much because the USB flash drives, the memory card, and the internet are replacing those. There are three different ways that information is stored on there. Magnetically, that was for the floppy, floppy disks and the hard drives. Magnets are used to put information on there. Of course, magnets can also be used to take the information off. So if you put a magnet on top of a floppy disk, all the data would be ruined. A hard disk drive, it would take an industrial, a very special magnet to erase those, but they still could be erased with a magnetic charge. Optical disks, 
the information is stored on there so you could see it if you had a good enough uh, microscope. The compact discs and the DVDs and the newer Blu-ray discs, they're all stored optically. So you use a laser to read the information off there. And finally, the flash memory, which would be the USB flash memory and the memory cards, that's stored with static electricity, little tiny bits of static energy, um, kind of like static lightning, lightning and thunder, um, little tiny bits of static electricity stored right on there. Thank you very much for watching and learning about computer storage devices.